तो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन लेट स्टार्ट विद दूनिट थ्री ऑफ अवर एक्सटेंशन लेक्चर दैट इज रूरल सोशियोलॉजी इन वेटनरी एक्सटेंशन होप यू हैव कवर्ड यूनिट वन एंड टू एंड ऑल्सो सोल्ड ऑल एम सी क्यूज रिलेटेड टू दोज यूनिट अंडर दिस यूनिट थ्री ऑफ रूरल सोशियोलॉजी वी विल स्टडी सेवन सब टॉपिक्स दैट इज सोशियोलॉजी कल्चर सोसाइटी क्यूमेनिटी एंड एसोसिएशन डिफरेंसिस बिटवीन ट्राइबल रूरल एंड अर्बन क्यूमेनिटी सोशल कंट्रोल स्ट्रेटिफिकेशन चेंज एंड ग्रुप्स देन लीडरशिप एंड की कम्युनिकेटर Now, starting with the sociology, so sociology word is derived from a Latin word which means socius means companion and logos means study. So, Augustus Comte is known as father of sociology, and he have said that sociology is a study of positive philosophy. Then, in sociology, it is not a social welfare, but it is actually a social science. Uh, in society, we have family as the basic unit, and norms, custom, and institution are the basically functional elements of society or the guiding. Uh, elements of a society then we have two terms sociometry and socialization sociometry is a term of measuring social relationship into a particular society and the process to initiate an individual into the culture world that is known as socialization and the process of social socialization continues throughout the life of an individual then we have culture in the culture is basically a learned behavior Culture includes all those beliefs or customs that we learn throughout our life, or we learn from our ancestors that has been practiced from thousands or hundreds of years. Then that becomes culture of a particular society. And then cultural trait and complex. Cultural trait is the smallest unit of culture, a single trait or belief. For example, a wedding ring that symbolizes the wedding is an example of cultural traits. In culture complex, if we give a reception, we organize puja, havans, and other rituals related to the marriage. then that uh, wedding ceremony becomes a culture complex in culture log some part of the people's culture do not change at the same rate as uh, do others for example uh, we have taken foreign language or the we are wearing western clothes but we have not taken the western idea of getting separated from uh, our parents after 18 or 19 years of age so that uh, is a part of culture log so some part of the culture changes very rapidly while some part will remain stagnant or constant then we have empathy it is the ability to understand and the share feelings of the another person and then if two persons come in contact for example an indian marrying a canadian or a us person then though the connections between those cultures that is known as acculturation and then ethnocentrism and genocentrism ethnocentrism is considering our own culture superior than the any other culture that exists on this earth that is known as ethnocentrism while considering other other persons uh, culture superior that is known as genocentrism then we have customs customs are the long accepted practices of people and accepted ways of doing things so it will include the unidentified act conventions mores taboos and rituals all those things they are included in the customs then norms norms are particularly the typical or usual action or behavior that we do so that is a norm so these are three different definition that i have collected from three different books or mcqs that i have sold so first is govern action directed toward achieving value so we have to achieve a particular value and we have to do some action for that so norms will govern our action then these are the social expectation that guide our behavior in a particular society and also these are the established pattern for the members of a social system so how will they act themselves in into a particular society that has norms so norms are of four kinds that is folk ways mores taboos and laws so in folk ways they are socially acceptable ways or they does not held moral significance so for example in haryana people when two people meet up they say ram ram uh, but if uh, i am in haryanvi people I, i am meeting some other people and i will not say ram ram then that does not have that much moral significance then in the mores the things that we are supposed to do or we are out to do that is known as moral uh, mores or they have moral significance for example uh, before entering any place of worship we we uh, will remove our shoes so that is an example of mores then in taboos the things that we are particularly not out to do or we are not supposed to do are religiously prohibited are taboos so in sirvi community of rajasthan there is a saying that dood becha put becha means if you are selling milk and that is equivalent to selling your son or daughter also killing and hunting of deer and antelope among the bishnoi community that is also an example of animal husbandry taboo 
then laws they are enacted and enforced by the government so wildlife protection act prevention of cruelty to animals acts these are all laws so if we are not following these laws we may end up in the jail also and um, we may have to pay fine also then there are two terms society and community so society basically does not have a definite geographical area so for example we can say that we are living in an indian society so that particular we feeling and the community sentiment that may or may not be present depending on the individual or the society then in the community we have a particular definite geographical area where there is a complete we feeling also we have a common interest and we share basic conditions of common life so community is a very shorter term by society is a broader term a society may include many communities then group for special concern and interest is an organization and in tribal community those people which have a common territory dialect means they speak same or native language they have more or less similar kind of names religion culture and blood relationship then they become a part of a particular tribe so category is the thing which has a which is a collection of items and has a particularly one common characteristic into them that becomes a category then collection of individual in physical proximity is aggregation for example there is some road accident and people are uh, they are going to see what has happened to the individual who has been in the road accident then they are standing in a physical proximity to each uh, uh, other then that becomes a aggregation of people so we next we have community development so community development is basically a method as well as a process and communis is a latin word the fundamental objective of community development is the development of man for development of people for destination man its objective are economic social and democratic growth then we have tribal ruler and urban community most of us we know the difference basic differences between these three but these are particularly three or four differences that are some or little bit confusing and may be asked in the examination i have mentioned them so social stratification does not exist in a tribal community while it exists in a rural and urban community but the bases are different uh, in rural community the stratification is based on the caste creed and gender while in urban community is it is based on the skills and the education level that a person has so social mobility is also very high in the urban community while it is very less in the rural and non exist uh, not exist in the case of uh, tribal community then social interaction is limited to a same tribe in case of tribal areas while it is plain informal and very diffused in case of rural and formal and impersonal in the urban areas same with the social control also society has a very much rigid control over an individual in case of tribal community while it is uh, also similar in the rural community also but it is not the case with the urban community where the social control is more formal and impersonal also then we have five basic institutions that is family religion education government and economy they are the five basic institution of a particular society so they are permanent they have established norms of, on which they are working from um, thousands or hundreds of years and they are mostly involuntary in nature then family is the fundamental unit of civilization it is also the first training group of a children then there are different kind of families that is family of origin or orientation in which one is born family or nuclear uh, which will include wife husband and their unmarried children only then family of procreations means the family which one sets up after marriage then social changes are the observable differences in any social phenomena over a period of time so we are observing differences in the way we uh, celebrate our festivals also that, that is a part of social change then we have forms of social change that could be unilinear that could be pendular or that could be evolutionary evolutionary we can say that antibiotic resistance is going to happen and that antibiotic resistance led to the creation of a, a more science based programs that are focusing to combat those antibiotic resistance so we are giving more respect to the scientists that are working to combat those changes that becomes that is social change the part of social change then agencies of social change this family religion education government and economy are the agencies and government is the most important influencing factor in the process of social change so for example tomorrow government uh, make a policy or uh, make some laws of um, uh, hindi being mandatory in every interview or uh, every paper or every competitive exams then a sudden social change will happen in that case also 
so government can influence the social change in the most influencing way possible then we have a uh, social change characteristics and this is particularly important from icr point of view so social change is always universal that is it is not limited to a particular society community or nation it is not in uniform it is a law of nature that social change is inevitable in nature it is a community change so it does not depend on the individual one individual prediction of social change is also very difficult so when the cell phones were uh, launched in the us or canada then the one of the iit professor said that uh, these uh, phones are not going to be that successful in india because we indians prefer live interaction but uh, nowadays you can say that everyone has a cell phone so prediction of the social change becomes very difficult that is it is hindered by ethnocentrism so for example if we are considering our culture more superior than any other culture so we will not consider changing it so the process of social change will become difficult in that case so what are the indicators of social change so how can we say that uh, social change has happened so we will have a uh, shift in our definition we will have a shift in behavior engagement policy and also maintaining past gain so everything changes around the social change that is happening then we have groups so few important points about group is that caste is a hierarchy hierarchical groups which will determine the social status of an individual then in informal group we have a principle of equality family is an example of primary group and we have a we feeling in the in group for example 10 sheep uh, in an example of in group while if we introduce one dog into that sheep group then that becomes an that dog become a part of out group that will not have a we feeling then we have leadership so basic elements of the leadership is the leader follower and a situation for example mahatma gandhi indians and the fight for independence so to select leader we use sociometric technique uh, sociometric technique was first developed by moreno and in this the individual is selected in preference based on the number of choices that each individual gets so after collecting the data from those individuals we can also determine the extent to which an individual is attracted or repulsed between individual within a small group so those uh, individual which is most attracted will be chosen as a leader then there are various types of leader i have mentioned a few of them so first is the voluntary leaders these are those leaders which choose to come out first for uh, the other people or highlighting an important issue for example lay leaders then we have paternalistic leaders they will treat their followers like their family members then lazy is fairy they are free to do leaders then we also have autocratic democratic also in autocratic they will not uh, the leader will not listen to his subordinate for example hitler was an autocratic leader in democratic leaders we have they will uh, hear to their subordinates also then we have key communicators so key communicators are basically uh, those persons of a community uh, which has a particularly good network and they have a good saying or they are first to speak about an issue so its concept was first given by laser field so according to me this is sufficient uh, for the unit 3 and this lecture cover all the high yielding topics of rural sociology till if you find anything that is additional information or more important um, then you can add it to the notebook which i suppose you have made particularly for the lecture series that we are having and by this way you can have a very concise notes that could be revised again and again and also uh, do remember that you don't need to score 100 percent for topping the examination uh, I scored 336 marks and in that uh, I topped the examination. So you can also top the examination in a similar kind of percentage. And so don't uh, bother too much and uh, uh, reading about these uh, books also, those notes also. So have a uh, very limited resources to study, revise up those and solve up ma maximum MCQs. This is not a uh, examination of uh, for checking your knowledge. It is basically an examination of, for checking your exam taking skill. So solve up maximum objective questions because it is particularly an objective paper and uh, uh, my mail id is always open for you for any feedback for any query or for any doubt uh, you have you can uh, mail me there and also most of you are also having my whatsapp number so you can also message me there I will uh, try to respond in the minimum possible time so wishing you all best of luck and uh, thank you for your time bye.